Foden Barrett, he sweeps yeah. around, no one in behind, it bounces kindly. Oh, out of front. The brilliance of Will Jordan. Did he control it? He did. Hi, I'm Will Jordan and I'm a Balance is Better champ. I've been playing professional rugby for the last six years with Tasman, the Crusaders and the All Blacks. So I went to a school called Fenelton Primary. There I remember, yeah, fond memories of athletics days, cross country, heading out in the afternoon and playing rounders. So yeah, we were always trying to stay pretty active. So then I went to a school called Cobham Intermediate. It was actually right across the road from Jelly Park, so we had a, yeah, some great facilities there. Love playing some lunchtime, touch or uh, league. Love being active when we could be. So I started playing cricket when I was about five years old. Yeah, I remember having a ball on a string at home that I used to go and just hack back, back and forth. That's probably where it started and then played there all the way through school. Had a great bunch of mates that I played with pretty much all the way through from when I was five to when I was 18 I left school. So I love what cricket taught me about teamwork and yeah, just that camaraderie of being out in the field um, as a group. Started playing rugby when I was really young, um, maybe five or six. And then probably as I sort of went through um, the early stages of high school and that, I was still enjoying it, but wasn't necessarily the best player out there or anything, but always, yeah, loved watching rugby and playing it as well. And probably wasn't until I left school that playing professionally and it becoming a career became a realistic path for me. Just, yeah, enjoying it was the main thing that kind of kept me in the sport. Will Jordan, he's always in support. He's got the ability to read the play. Balancing cricket and rugby for me was rugby in the winter and then cricket in the summer. It was just a great way to, in the different seasons, be able to keep up your skills, hand-eye, that team culture side of it, um, and just staying active and fit. Yeah, being able to play sport kind of all year round was a great part about having a couple of sports I love playing. School rugby was some of the funnest rugby that I've ever played. Um, it was awesome and being in the first 15 in year 13 was such a cool experience. And with that did come a little bit of pressure, but I think for me, particularly my parents were always reinforcing how much enjoyment was just the key part and um, what I was doing and they never put pressure on me to try and make rugby a career or go out there and be the best player in the field. It was more about being the best version of myself and alongside that I had a coach, um, a guy named Archie who he always just said to me to go out there and back myself and he wasn't too worried about I guess structures and what looked good. He just wanted me to go out there and just back my ability and that's something that to this day I still try and keep hold of. As I almost actually stopped playing rugby. He really encouraged me to stay in it and saw potential in me that I probably didn't see in myself. So yeah, I stuck at it for a couple of years and sort of found the love for the game again and yeah, sort of here now. So I think back to that moment and it's yeah, had a pretty huge impact on my life. Oh, Will Jordan, every time he's got the ball he's dangerous. I think sport's obviously a, a lot more than just winning or losing. I think, yeah, the participation side of it, Fundamentally, I think it's about being healthy and I think um, being active is huge for both your mental and physical health. Going back to the golf, like at the moment, when I'm playing rugby, if things aren't going well, it's a huge release for me to be able to go out there and um, just take my mind off it and, and have some fun. I guess the more professional side of it with rugby, we're more focused on the process around it, what we're doing, um, how we're getting better each day, um, rather than necessarily looking at results. You have your setbacks and you have your tough times, but knowing that there's always a brighter future ahead has been huge and remembering that everything's temporary. Things don't always go your way, but having the resilience to bounce back um, and keep giving things a go is I think a really important um, characteristic in sport and yeah, going out there and just trying to improve day to day is huge. The best piece of advice I've ever got was just take whatever opportunities in front of you. I think you never know kind of who's watching or what doors are open on the other side. So backing your ability and having fun were the two main things that I think really held me in good stead when I was coming through the grades. But I think staying active um, and playing sport has huge benefits, particularly for your mental health. So I'd really encourage anyone to keep getting out there and giving it their best.